What's up guys, Typical Gamer here, and I'm here with part number 33 of the GTA 5 first person mode walkthrough. For some reason it spawned me on a boat with Michael. I have no idea why, but we're going to get over to the next mission. Tracy says, how are you? It's like so majorly weird writing to you like this. It's like the 90s or something. Email. Wow. Tracy, you're so weird. She sounded like more to that email, of course, but... Uh, read it later. I'm going to beach this boat so that I can get to the mission. So this is how we do. All the way to Ma Martin. What's up, Martin? Martin? Hey, look. What have you done? What have you done? Where is she? She's safe. Look, I'm going to find a way to make this right with you. That will take some doing. Well, he's a little mad. And rightfully so. Let's go see what these guys are doing up here. They're having like a party. It's like a a deck on its own. Oh shoot! Imagine some guy comes to your deck and just jumps off the edge. Just gets up and runs away. Alright, let's go to this mission. I think this is at Trevor's meth lab. Ooh, a shopping cart. Can we push it? Oh. Michael, you're Jack. Jeez, I'm impressed. Hey there. What did I grab? Is that health? I can't tell if it's inside or outside. I have to be. It's probably inside. Hey, how's it going, man? I'm just gonna go to the back. And up here. Up the stairs. Up, up the stairs. There we go. Oh, hey, Trevor. What are you doing over there? Oh. Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah. It's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this, this here is my place. And my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open! See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy helicopter, Truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made. Honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus. Fucking Christ. All right. I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Come on. You're driving us up to the bank. All right. Well, I guess we got the plan set already. Let's get through this building. Excuse me, door. 
into my nice red car. Still haven't got my car back from Jimmy. Damn it, Jimmy. Oh, Trev's running. It's kind of scary. Ooh. Do a turn. There we go. Hey, Trev. Best buddy friend. Call Lester. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. This dude's taking a bus? You guys should go pick him up. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this AC bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in yeah. safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you, you know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then, what? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why well, be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying. Soon? The skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. You're trying to wind me up, but I'm very, very angry, and I want this conversation to stop right away. Hipster. Fuck you! Fuck you, Michael! Say it again. I've made my point. I'm not a sadist. <laughs> what a whack conversation. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? Apparently a long time. Oh, they just waited like 24 hours almost. Come on, man, knock it off. What? Yeah. I'm gonna break your fucking fingers you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm -hmm. oh. 
Shall we? Might as well get started. Here we go. Okay, let's take a look at this bank. Sounds like he's on the phone when he talks. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Case the joint. And that's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It'll take us around back. Okay. Alright, round back we go. I like it. Yeah, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Mm hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, then we're gonna have to find a new score. No, no, no. Uh-uh. No, no. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey! You heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Do I have any silenced pistols? Oh, my assault rifle has a... Has a suppressor on it. I kinda wanna take out those birds. Alright. Okay, I brought my police scanner. Now drive over to the gas station opposite the bank, and we'll monitor chatter. Alright. Okay, let's do it. This is Toledo Base Security Services Frequency. We have a code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Blaine County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. Polito cars 3, 6, 9, and 1 will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Oh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito security. Any updates on the code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars. More in the wings. Bad cops guarding dirty money. Fuck how many. We can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Hmm. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12. False alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not! We're still faster than your ass. No. Nope. I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running from the cops. We're gonna go as Michael. It's Trevor Phillips. Got you. <laughs> they ain't beating me across it. Well, I chose Michael, not Trevor. So let's do this. Kind of wanted to take Lester. Race Trevor to his office. All right, let's do this. I shouldn't have come. I should have known. We're fine. We're gonna get out of here. Trevor Phillips, of course this would turn into a car chase. We're not being chased. Not yet. Not at all. Look, take a deep breath. We're gonna be fine. We just gotta get back to Trevor's office. Get off the road up here. This must be Trevor's route through the mountains. Uh, dirt track. Might get bumpy. When Trevor says office, he really means... A burnout gas station by the Alamo Sea? I've seen the title of ownership, and judging by the glassware he ordered a year ago, I'm guessing it's a meth lab. A meth lab! Just perfect! Laboratory don't do it justice. It's more of a shithole where meth is made. Great! Nothing like a pharmaceutical bakery to prep the perfect stick-up job. Don't worry. It's gonna be fine. Look, you had any ideas about the bank? Are you sure we can't disable the alarm? The alarm is a UXVF 111 classification. Excuse me. Classification. Minute long relay interval. Third party verification. Multiple monitoring centers. Sure, I can disable it. But? But it'll cost more than the job is worth. Of course it will. So, what do we do? We walk away. It's not like we need the money. Uh, about that. 
You been day trading? No, God no. I mean, yeah, 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 I've been trading, but no, that's not why we need the money. Then why do you need the money? <laughs> All right, so, there's this research laboratory on the coast. The IAA are using it to manufacture a poison gas that they're gonna release on U.S. soil in order to hope that the government increases their funding. Well, that sounds idiotically improbable enough to be possible, but what's it got to do with you and Trevor sticking up the Blaine County Savings and Loan? Agent Steve Haynes needs two million plus to finance a raid on the lab. And guess who's doing the raid? And guess who's paying for it? Ah, I see. Yeah, well, I don't really see, but I'm doing it. Looks like the road takes a dip and a turn after that bridge. Slow down. Oh. And it sounds like Trevor would hit this bank for candy and a pat on the head. Now tell me, can we do it or do we move on? Now you can do it. Look at it. Oh you God! Can do it clean. How messy we talk. Taking the cops head on, messy. Well, they are dirty cops. That's what Trevor says. So do you think we can do it? Guys out here aren't trained like the LSPD. They're going to be prepared for a well-armed, well-drilled team coming straight for them. Yeah, well, we need an edge. Something to tip the odds in our favor. Yeah, I got a couple ideas. <laughs> All right. All right, well, this is going to be a crazy heist. And my driving is absolutely horrid in today's episode, but we will complete it. But we will not be Trevor there, because he's already there. Cause I couldn't get up that hill. It was like all watery. My car struggled and I fell off the side. It's pretty embarrassing. But life goes on. And let's get this done. Get her done! Yeah, dirty cops. I thought that was the whole story of all San Andreas here. Apparently it's just in Polito Bay? I don't know. We're gonna take them head on. Bring some cops down and complete the third or fourth heist of the game so far. I love the heist. I can't wait for an online heist. They're gonna be absolutely incredible. Eventually. Oh. Trevor beat us here. Yeah, well, at least we weren't arrested. Jesus, what took you so long? Had to let you win. Hmm. <laughs> Set up a board over here. Oh, Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, right? Then you're going to be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. There you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. Hmm. So we have Gustavo Moda. Daryl Johns, not choosing him for sure. Look at that face he's staring at me with. McReary? He was part of a well-known Liberty City stick-up crew. Small world. Ah, yeah. think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. I love how they all give their input. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Mr. Packy McGreary. 
I got a good feeling about him. That it? You sure? Yeah, that's like all the options I got here, Mr. Lester. That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I, I'll get a motel, thanks. Why don't you show? Fine, I'll give you a ride. Okay. Adios, amigos. Hmm? Oh, God. First person throwing up. I got Lester as a contact? I thought I had him before. Okay, let's see what I... I didn't win. And I didn't do it fast enough. Well. I'm going to accept the bronze for now. As a token of appreciation. And what is that? Redheads exposed. Huh. Nice place you got here, Trevor. Oh, Franklin, what's up? Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's got to be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. Okay. Oh, what was that? I had an option to do something. Oh, to view the plans. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. That's pretty sweet. That's where the money is. So we gotta take the money. I think we got 88 plus cops, 4 cars, 67 seconds. Need military hardware. Grade hardware. Okay, we just need to get the military gear. Okay, guys. That's gonna be it for today's episode. Episode number 33. Be sure to catch tomorrow. We're going to have part 34 and 35 for you. We're going to have the heist there. Possibly a different mission as well. And we're going to go get some military hardware then too. Lester just texted us that we can get the military hardware. So, it's a lot of good stuff. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day. And peace out.